Hey brothers and sisters, welcome to the Last Chance Ministry video session. Um, I want to give a shout out to my sister in Christ, Mandy. Thank you so much. Um, our talk last night was just awesome. I mean, I there were so much things that came in about dreams and everything that we talked about last night, brothers and sisters, that it makes more sense that we are in the final stretch. Um, I want to let you guys know right now, do not go for no date setters. I don't care who it is. I just had a confirmation on this video to be made because I was watching my uh, subscriber my subscriber list on my other channel. And um, a sister that Harpazo Raptoro had, uh, had put up, Harpazo Raptoro, sorry, which means rapture. Uh, she put up and she was talking about the fact and I have been thinking about this and I have been watching some stuff which I want to let sister um, Mandy know yes you're right uh, I need to quit watching that stuff I've been watching I was watching celebrity deaths and celebrity funerals and stuff like that and um, there for a while I was feeling peace with it but toward the end of last night it was like I need not to watch them anymore because I was feeling not I was feeling like from some of these graves, you could tell the people were evil. Okay, and you could sense the evilness from them. And God, I come before you, before my brothers and sisters, and ask you to forgive me. And I repent and rebuke whatever and plead the blood of Jesus over me right now. And God, help me not to return to those videos. I uh, know celebrity graves are okay to watch, but the funerals are not. Um, a lot of these celebrities live lives of luxury and, 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 and they die before the age of 50, you know, and, and people sit there and they idolize these people like they're gods and they're not a god. But you know what God says, have no other, have no idols before thee. And people idolize, even Christian singers, they idolize. And there was some, one time that I thought about, you know, when you see like a, a Matthew West concert or one of them, I'm just using him as an example. You see people with lights in the in the audience flashing them back and forth, and either lighters or lights, whatever. And you got to wonder, okay, um, are they worshiping God or are they worshiping the are they worshiping the singer on stage? That's why you know I do have a gift to sing, and well, I mean I I do, but mine is mainly for praise and worship. It's not for show. Now, sometimes I will sing on the, on the videos, but it's not anything I want to, you know, move into more than just doing it to praise God. God gave me a gift of, of being a um, an uplifting uh, brother in Christ to help you guys see things for the way they are, not the way the devil can blind you to see them. And when it comes to like these, you know, celebrities and stuff, the celebrities I remember from when I was a child, most of them are already gone. They're, they're dead and gone. Uh, like Lucille Ball, um, Desi Arnaz, uh, the ones who played on I Love Lucy, George Burns and Gracie Allen, which they were before my time. Gracie Allen actually died before I was born, but I remember her and George's uh, Burns and Alley. Matter of fact, I got a list of it on uh, YouTube. I sometimes watch, well, the other night I didn't really watch it because uh, my mind wasn't on it. Um, about three nights ago, our neighborhood experienced a, a bad experience. A three-month-old baby uh, was found dead in a swing. Uh, well, we don't know exactly how, but one person told my cousin that it was with a bag over. The, well, didn't tell her, but they posted it on Facebook. It's one of uh, this person is the cousin to the mother of the baby, and um, this person also used to be married to our cousin. Um, the cousin to the mother's baby was married to our cousin. And she said on her post that the baby had a bag over its head or something. And some people said it fell off into the bag. Okay, well, a three-month-old baby doesn't move. And like a sister in Christ said, or, well, a friend of mine said, that that, year, that old of a baby, that three months old, is too young to be in a swing by itself. And, and the baby should never been not should not have been un unsupervised at that age. I could see you in the kitchen, it in the living room, but you being in the bedroom and supposedly the mother was doing something she shouldn't have been doing and she went upstairs to lay down and when she came down the baby was dead. So it's all up in the air what happened but it is something that makes you wonder, you know, why did it happen? You know, you think, well that can't happen in my neighborhood. Well, it happened in mine. It's just like three doors over from where I live at. You know, well actually outside my apartment if I look out my door diagonally, like if I look diagonally like this, I can see the door where the baby lived in, in the apartment. I can't see in the part. I can see the apartment where the baby lived, and the baby was a beautiful little boy. But I just pray God will help. You know, the mother, if she didn't do it, help her to have comfort 
And if she did do it, help her to come to him and, and repent of her sins, repent of her uh, drug abuse and drug use. And that's one of the things I've heard. Uh, I'm not I'm not trying to hide it. I don't care if the woman was on drugs, then Lord help her, you know, because that's that is of the devil. And the devil does what? Come to lie, kill and destroy. Uh, the sheriffs were over there yesterday, so it's up in the air what happened. But I'm thinking they're they're treating it as a, as a uh, manslaughter or you know a homicide. Um, the baby wasn't old enough to pull the bag over its head itself, and someone tried to say the baby got a bag and put it over its head. Not at three months old. No, I, I don't. I don't. Mm -mm. A three month old baby can barely move. You know, six months. That's a possibility. They get a little bit more flexible and more. You know, they have more of a reflex then, but not at three months. You know, that's still a baby. That's still a you know an infant. Um. Anyway, getting back to what I was saying, just like with that baby, you know, uh, that was only three. It wouldn't have been four months old until I think it was uh, February third, and this happened on um, January the sixth or the fifth. I think it was the sixth. Anyway, um, yeah, because it was Wednesday. That was three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Um, anyway, so it was three days ago. I tried to do a video the other day, but I was doing some of that effects I have on the side of this new computer here. I was doing some of the effects like the hot air balloon stuff, and I changed it to hearts. And it, I guess that's one you have to do when you first start the video. So, and there's no need for us to put that on here. I'm not on here for a show. I'm on here to tell you about the love of God and things that are happening that are showing His soon return. Uh, no one knows the date or the hour. No one knows. There's someone saying between now and the 12th, and and all this stuff. You know, He could come anytime. We're in the season. Now, this person didn't particularly pin down a date, but he's got a little bit of space and time there, which is between, I think he said the 5th and the 12th or something like that. And they're trying to say that's Hanukkah. Uh, Sister in Christ said Hanukkah was back in uh, December. I don't know anything about it. I mean, I know that Hanukkah is the festival of lights, and, uh, and it's the time that Jesus was conceived, or was brought, I don't know, once that's when he's conceived. I don't know. I don't know anything about Hanukkah. If, if I'm meant to know, Lord, I'm asking you to reveal it to me because I don't know anything about it. I, I don't. I don't do the tree at Christmas. I, 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 I mean, I believe in. I celebrate Jesus' birth daily. I thank God for everything He's done for me, Lord. I do. I thank you. Um, the thing I wanted to say was, I want you know, don't get caught up in, in anybody's um, in anybody's way of setting dates. Okay. Um, I don't know when the rapture is going to happen. No one does. Don't even get set in the year that it's going to happen, okay? I mean, it does pin out that it should have happened between last year and this year sometime. <clears throat> does that mean it'll happen? N no, but it does seem like it, it should with everything going on. But God's time, not ours. Things could be just be heating up for the beginning of sorrows. We don't know. And then again, we could be at the end of sorrows, getting ready to see the trumpet blow. And we're going to go home. I pray that it's soon because this world's just going to continue to grow colder and colder. As uh, Sister Mandy said last night, she said that, you know, it's gro it's darker. The, the world is so much darker. And yeah, it's even darker, as I told her. It's darker even since last year. I mean, at the end of last year, this was on uh, New Year's Eve, the, the, the morning of New Year's Eve, that I had the dream about the total darkness. I'm talking darkness, not night. Darkness. You could not see your hand in front of your face. It was right before New Year's Eve. so And I didn't get it till we were talking last night. And I was like, you know what? I said, that makes sense. I said, it's saying the darkness is coming this year. Or it's it's it, it's going to get dark this year. The darkness is going to start covering. Darkness in the world, not three days of darkness. I don't go for that. I don't, I don't know. If we if we happen to hear for three days of darkness, you know what? Jesus will see us through. He is our light. In this dream, my house had light in it. But my light could not penetrate out the door. If I would have stuck my hand out of the out of the door, I probably could not have seen my hand. That's how dark it was. Right now, it looks like I could, but in the dream, it was so dark that you couldn't see nothing. And the only thing I could say was I remember I was looking down to see if my cat, which you guys know, you guys know Charlie right here. In the dream, I looked down to see because he's bad about running out the door. When you well, not really bad, but sometimes, and when he wants to go out, rub his belly and stuff on the sidewalk. Anyway. I looked down and all that. I was like, did Charlie get out? Did Charlie get out? And I closed the door. I guess Charlie didn't in the dream. I don't know but because he's right here, but, you know, that's my baby. But um, I remember my brother was sitting in his recliner, <clears throat> and my cousin comes straight across the, the, the uh, 
living room into the kitchen and uh it was like um um like it just got dark all of a sudden when she walked across. okay this is if you guys can see it i don't know if you'll be able to see it or not this right here is my front door right there that's the door okay mandy if you can see this stuff i'm not sure that's my front window that right over there is my tv and right here i told you about my kitchen over there is my kitchen i will give you a better uh view of it uh when i can i'll try to give you a different view of my, that's my kitchen i'll try to give you a shot video shot when i have the lights on but right now i'm like chilling out for a little while this is my door this is my little seating area and i have a cat that's going across the table if you guys want to see he got up and started to walk off because he's a little silly nelly and I have all kinds of things on my wall. And right there, I'm always telling you about that, uh, Sister Mandy, about, you know, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, Philippians 4.13. My cousin always buys me something on birthdays or anything that has to do with the Lord. Bible verses, you know, just things to put up on my on my uh, walls to show people that I'm a, I, lo I love God. I love the Lord Jesus Christ, and I don't want anything to do with anything in this world. I just want Jesus. Jesus Christ, the Son of God, is the way. Allah is not the way. Buddha is not the way. Only through Christ Jesus. Okay? Because it sounds like I almost said Allah there. No, I don't pay homage to Allah. I do not worship Allah. I rebuke Allah. Because Allah is nothing but, but the devil. In, the devil. It's the devil. Jesus Christ is a living Son of God. He is the living Son. When he was crucified, he rose again in three days. He is alive at the right hand of the Father. Remember that. Now... And we need to always make that a point that, you know, that Jesus Christ is Lord. I, I want to say, uh, okay, like, as I was saying, I was watching those uh, celebrity deaths and celebrity funerals. Uh, and I don't remind, or grave spots, I mean, celebrity grave spots. Because sometimes they'll throw a casket in there. It doesn't bother me to see someone in a casket. I mean, it's like even with that baby, you know, passing. It's like, you know, I know that baby's in better hands. I know it's with God. And, and I think it's the people around here that are unrest about it because they, and there's people been here longer than I have and one that hasn't been here as long. I think he's been here a year less than me, maybe a year or so, but, and, and he was over there when they brought the baby out over to the other neighbor's house. The woman came down, found the baby in, in, the, in the swing. She grabbed it, ran to a neighbor's house, gave the baby to him, and he said, there's nothing I can do. The baby's cold. It's already cold. And which means the baby had been dead for a while. And um, the other gentleman that lives here, he, he, he lost it. He, he lost it. I haven't. He's a good friend. He's a he's a good friend of mine. He does my uh, uh, he takes my garbage to the dumpster for me. I give him Wi Fi and he takes my trash out. He wanted to pay me money. I said no. He just do my trash. It'll be okay. And uh, and uh, and uh, sorry, got a fingernail in my mouth. Anyway, um, I was chewing my thumb, my thumbnail. <laughs> Leave it to me. But getting back to what I was saying, you know, with the, with these uh, celebrity deaths and stuff, you look at some of their ages, you know, look at it, like celebrity deaths. Okay, you look at it shows the person, the time, their age they died. Sometimes it shows you age and how they died. Occasionally you can get those videos. Don't go looking at celebrity funerals, you know, celebrity grave sites and celebrity deaths. They don't show funerals. They show just the pictures, and that's okay to look at. But like the one who played Snyder on One Day at a Time, he passed away the day before yesterday at the age of 80 some you know um my cousin shared that with me uh if it's real i mean i haven't heard no more about it no one said anything about it on facebook so i don't know if it's true or not but we'll find out if it's a hoax he didn't die you know because i'm gonna say celebrity died and i'll even say someone in the family said it and it wasn't them anyway getting back to what i was saying death is a sure thing it's going to happen okay and 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 when it does you've got to make that choice right now where you're going to spend eternity which is true life the, you know we don't we don't say die we, we we our body our our bodies goes to sleep and our soul goes either to heaven or hades hades is the holding tank for hell hell has not been opened yet jesus has not sent down the the angel with the key of the abyss to open it up and that will be at the time of the tribulation and i believe it's getting ready to happen a lot of people are talking about cern winding up and we were talking about this song by deep purple last night um smoke on the water and 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 the lyrics is almost like she said about the tribulation this song was done pretty long time a long time ago now i never was into deep purple or, or leonard skinner or the black sabbath but those are the ones that they say are called the unholy trinity 
Now, I don't know. I don't listen to that garbage because I know it's demonic. And neither does neither does Sister Mandy. But she said that you know we were going through the, and I was just throwing in there what I felt about it. You know, I wasn't thinking. I was just feeling. And it came. I understand. It, it kind of went together what was going on. And um, because she had got up yesterday, and she got the word smoke smoke on the water, and um. We were just talking about that. And then we read in Proverbs 1 and, 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 and Psalms 91. I think that's what we're going to do, sis. Every night do a Psalms and a Proverb. That sounds awesome. But And I really enjoyed the Proverbs. I really haven't read Proverbs as much as I've, I've read Psalms on and off. But Proverbs is one I like to get into because that's really got some stuff. Because that's from King Solomon. And King, I think, or yeah, King Solomon, I think he was King David's son. But anyway, you know, Samuel or something like that. I can't remember. But anyway, it's one. I think it's... Well, Solomon was wise, and, the, and yeah, no one would ever be wiser than him. And I, yeah, and that's the Proverbs. Yeah. Anyway, like I was saying, praise the Lord. Okay, let's get back into our situation. The Word of God is important. We need to read. We need to live. We need to eat the Word in our soul. We need to continue doing what we need to do. Okay, I just want to say sorry. I haven't been on here for a few days, but I just have not had a word. You know, and this is something laying on my heart. And then I go on and watch that hot pause, hot pause, Choro video today about the girl talking. Yeah. And she, <clears throat> and she talked about, um, when she talked about what she talked about, it just gave me, you know, a thought. Hold on a second. It just gave me a, a, the, the, <clears throat> yeah, that's what it did. Mm hmm. Yeah. You better believe it. <laughs> you gotta give me time. Sometimes I just get. I get what they call, I guess, a, uh, not writer's block, but video block. <laughs> it's kind of like writer's block. Anyway, um, and it's okay to laugh. God says laughter is a good medicine, and it is to laugh sometimes. And I get kind of aggravated at myself because I'll be in a real serious mode because I want to be serious about everything I do. When it comes to the Lord Jesus Christ, there's no joke there. It's all serious. And sometimes I'll get to where I say something funny. But I realize, too, we got to break the tension with a little bit of laughter but then get back to it. And it's not a bad thing to do that. I mean, I even seen some true preachers do that in their sermons. And there's nothing. Now I'm not talking about the Joel Osteen crack a joke every every sermon. There's sometimes jokes are not available because there's no jokes in really there's no jokes in, in in the walk with Christ. It's all serious. But God wants to see us laugh. I mean, look, He made the platypus. I mean, look, He made you and He made me. We do we do crazy and stupid things that make us laugh. You know, we know God wanted. I'm, I'm, Jesus even laughs. I'm sure he, you know He laughed. He wheat. He has he had emotions and laugh is, laughter is an emotion of, of seeing something funny. Don't you think he laughs at us when we do something silly? <laughs> I mean, you know, think about it. Yeah, I'm sure he rolls rolls laughing at me sometimes because I just I'm always being silly about things and things I put myself through. I know, I know he probably gets angry with me because I allow myself to be beat down by things I shouldn't. And none of us need to do that. We all need to be seeking his will and seeking his path that we may get through this world without yeah oh lord jesus help us god please help us we need jesus we need him more now than ever before yeah brothers and sisters we are at the time of jesus return we are right at the door of his return yeah you know I think about people and how people will, they think they got all the time in the world. You know, like looking back at some of these celebrities, or even just some deaths, just deaths in general. You know, um, young kids like Jan uh, Joe Benet Ramsey and, uh, and well, uh, Lisa Left Eye Lopez, which she wasn't a child, she was a young adult. Uh, <clears throat> apparently, she was almost my age, but. Well, she would have been in her 40s if she lived, because she died back like in 02. Um, trying to think who else. And I'll tell you, rappers, uh, that is nothing but a bunch of... I mean, they all either get murdered or drug overdose or something. That's that's a demonic uh, a demonic music part. I mean, that, that is a demonic uh, area in music. I mean, rap. Okay, because there's people out there... The East Coast, West Coast want to kill one another. I don't know. I think it's all Illuminati. Who knows if even these rappers are showing? You know, they could put a, they could put a fake body in a casket, and make it look like that person's dead, and let that person live a life without doing it. But there's some young kids. The one from Criss Cross. One of them died. There was a little, little Lou, a little, little uh, Snoop. 
all kinds of young kids. I'd say they may have been 14, 15. They were rappers. Brothers and sisters, if you've got a child that likes to rap, look at them and say, stop it now. You're not going to get in that demonic stuff because, oh my, it just... I can see the one. I can't remember who he is, but anyway, it's sad. It's a young baby. Barely out, barely out in life, and it's he's already gone because he got into a drug, a, a, a drug area of rap. You know, I mean. Anyway, getting back to what I was saying, I, I never did like rap music in, in in the world. Now there's some rap music, and I know there's some Christians that like the rap, some of the rap music. But I believe these artists that are rapping should take it down to a regular singing. Uh, I'm a person who loves just like. There's some Toby Mac I like, not much, but like City on His Knees, uh, If You Want to Steal My Show. Once I got to hear the words of it, I like that song. And I'm not a big Toby Mac fan, but I do like, and that one, uh, I'll be packing my bags when I need to stay. I'll be chasing every breeze that blows my way. Uh, the one that's at the end of, uh, of War Room. <laughs> you gotta love Miss Clark. Uh, <clears throat> praise the Lord. I love that movie. Oh, my, my my cousin got me this one yesterday, and I was so excited because, and it's, it's it's just a good comedy Christian movie. It's called Mom's Night Out. My mom, my cousin got this for me for eight bucks at Dollar General. No one has it, but Dollar General had it for eight dollars. I was like, cool beans, you know. I was meant to have it. And my, my cousin had bought me, which we shared it. The title we we shared the rights to that title, that movie. It was um, Do You Believe? And I told her, I said, you can have Do You Believe? Just give me that one. Then I've got War Room she bought me as a gift, which I don't have right now. She's got it. But I told her, I said, you can have, do you believe? I said, give me that. You can have that one. I said, you can buy you a copy of that if you want to. I said, but, and she said, it's fine. That's good with her, you know, because the uh, do you believe is more costlier than this one. It was like 30 bucks. Not that I don't like the movie. I do, but it just didn't move me like uh, War Room and like um, God's Not Dead. Now, we may be here for God's Not Dead, too. Could be very possible we're going to see it, too. I think these movies are, you know, and I believe that War Room is really a, a, a cry out for people to start praying. I mean, we need to pray to the Lord. We really do. This world, our, our nation is dying. It's dying. And don't sit there and be listening to the TV news when they're talking about Obama going to do this, Obama going to do that. Obama ain't going to do nothing that Lord, the Lord ain't going to allow him. Obama's not in charge. God is. And Obama needs to know that, too. You're not God. You're a piece of trash under God's foot. Because if you're living for the devil, the devil's under Christ's foot, and so are you. I, the Lord says, have no fear. It says, if God is for you, who can be against you? But getting back, <clears throat> this video is mainly to say this to everyone. If you don't know the Lord as your personal Savior, you need to get to know Him. You need to know that He is the true love of your life. He's the only love. Without Him in your heart, you can't even love nobody. You can lust after somebody, but you know what? Lust ends with a pound, gain a pound or a wrinkle. You no longer want nothing to do with that person again. You know what? I have seen some very beautiful women, <coughs> and uh, that's passed away, of course, but, and I've seen some just natural looking women and you know it's like the ones like you know like country women and i've seen some mother figures oh i mean true mother figures on on them slides you know uh, of celebrities um i just want to say you know um i just want to say that um sorry i'm trying to scratch my I just want to say that um, if I was to fall in love with a woman, I'd want her to be country. I'd want her to be plain. I wouldn't want her to be no supermodel or nothing like that. I don't want that kind of marriage. I don't. I would want a woman who is down to earth. I'd want a woman like my mom was. I mean, I'd want a woman who's country. I want a woman who's not fully educated in the world, but educated in God's word. I'd want a woman that is totally committed to God first and that she loved God more than she loved me because if she could love God more than she loves me, then that means she truly loves me. 
Because to love God is to love everything around you because you are so grateful for what God has given you. Last night I told Sister Mandy, I said, Sister Mandy, I said, I'm grateful for everything I have. I said, my house does not have matching furniture in it. But you know, and one time it did. I went on there and done a video on my other channel. I, think, I don't think it was on this channel. Or I, I think it was my old channel. I don't, yeah, I'm pretty sure it was on my old channel. I went through and done a video of my house. I just had recently got this brand new living room suit. Yeah. Mm, yeah, I did. You know what? I, uh, <laughs> mm. Oh, Jesus, help me, please. I done a video showing people my bet my house, and it was like it just looks so peaceful, well, and, and so comfortable, cozy, and it is. My house is cozy, but there's times that I have unsettling feelings because of people. You know, they don't want to know the Lord, and I have people come to my house. I don't feel like they know the Lord, and I, I pray they do know. And I was people I talk to on a daily or occasionally a daily basis that I feel need more of God and less of this world. There's some I feel like don't even know God. They say they do, but their, their, world, their worldly existence does not show the fruit of the Spirit at all. They're more involved in what's going on out there in the world and how they could do this or do that, you know, and, and are wanting to hurt people. That's not of God. You have to let that go. To be a part of God, you've got to let that go. I've lost friends, or so-called friends. Uh, if you're really a friend, you're going to listen to a friend who's telling you the truth. But I've lost so-called friends because they didn't want to hear the truth. They unsubbed to me, they unfriended me, they blocked me, they don't talk to me. And when someone talks about me, they talk back in a way like, you still talk to him after what he did. All I do is tell the truth. If you get offended by it, you're going you're gonna to stop talking to me because you got offended of your own sin. But there's some people that will fight their own sin. They will fight it. We are here to tell you the truth. If we are true children of God, we're going to tell you what you're doing is wrong. We're not supposed to... We're not supposed to... Um, we're not supposed to lie to anybody to keep friendship. No, if you tell somebody something, they walk away from you. You know what? Then just pray. Let God take it because they've already done what they want to do. They're not going to listen to you no more. Pray that God will open up their their uh, their uh, understanding of what's wrong. Uh, that God will re they will listen to God when He reveals to them their wrongs. So they may make them right. They will make their sins and confess them into God that, to take them away. I know there's things in all of us, like God has showed me, you know, I, sometimes I try too hard to please um, people. Well, I used to. I don't try to please people anymore because I care less. But it's, I try, I try too hard to win people over when it's obvious they have a hardened heart and they're not going to listen to nobody. Just got to pray for those people. You know, you don't know when you're going to draw your last back breath. And, uh, I'm just going to tell you right now, the casket's too late. The casket is too late. You cannot wait until you're dead to ask for forgiveness. And no one in your family can pray pray for you when you die. Even though Mormons believe they can, they even baptize dead and all that stuff. You cannot, you cannot, I'm sorry, no you cannot, you cannot. Uh, there is some people out there stupid enough. This guy married a dead woman. Right at her funeral, he's putting a ring on her finger. Another man digs up a woman to sleep with her. Brothers and sisters, this is demonic. This is a demonic time. There's people that are having their wake made like they're alive. A woman sitting at a table drinking champagne, got a cigarette in her hand, got a, a, a case and bush, bush down by her foot and rock music playing. There's another woman sitting in the garden. There's another woman laying on her couch. I mean, she's supposed to be a famous woman. I don't know who she is. But anyway, these are not normal. This is people that went too far out with their money. There's people paying like millions of dollars just to get buried in this one cemetery. What does it matter where you're buried at? And when you're dead and gone, you don't know where you're at. I mean, it's you're you're paying all that money out to bury dirt in, under dirt or in a wall. The thing you should be doing is taking that money and using it for good. God, you know, these celebrities, if they only knew before you know the Illuminati and the satanic cults got a hold of them, if they only knew that they were gifted to do what they do by God, and they could have used that money that they had, because people who have got money are supposed to help those who don't have money. Then there's some people who's got a, the form of godliness, but not the power thereof, and they're the ones that's on the TV telling you to send, plant a seed, plant a seed, plant a seed. Mike Murdoch is a, is a, is a master of planting a seed, and he don't even know what the seed is. Because if he did, he would know it's not money, it's the Word of God. 
Okay, I mean, these people are ate, eat up with a love of money, and that's the root of all evil. Joe Osteen may not say it, but Joe Osteen gets his money because he knows how to how to slip people into listening to his sugar coated garbage. Uh, Joyce Myers is the same way. Uh, there's so many fake teachers out there. People, you need to open up, wise up, and look at the word of God, and not the mouth of man. The mouth of man will send you to hell really fast. If the, what the man said, if you ain't if you ain't um, firmly standing on the word of God and know it, you got to at least know it a little bit that you can catch when someone's saying something that is not of God. And, and they're pretty slick about saying it. That's why all these people are, are blinded by their sugar coat and candy teaching is because they don't know the word of God enough to stand up and say, oh, I rebuke you, Satan. Because when they say it's all about you, God wants you to have a better life. Oh, Victoria Osteen, please go back in your grave or back in your hole in your cave where you belong. Because you are a liar from the pits of hell. It is not about you. It is about Jesus Christ. The Lord says, deny thyself and pick up thy cross daily. That means don't come out for yourself. You know, you die to yourself daily and live to Christ. Because to live in Christ is to truly live for yourself. Because you know why? You're dying to the worldly self and you're living to the heavenly gained one. That's going to go to heaven and have a life much better on this earth. Every, it's, this, life can never, this life in this earth can never give us the pleasures that God's got waiting on us in heaven. We can't even picture a fantasize or even phantom and what it looks like we do not know okay people i'm telling you it's time to wake up it's time to quit listening to the joe olsteins the victoria olsteins who's nothing but a bunch of liars they are lars and nothing but lars okay they're of the devil pray that god will bring conviction but you know what even we can pray but some of their hearts may be already hardened. But what is impossible for God is uh, uh, what is impossible for man is not impossible for God. All things are possible with Christ Jesus. He can make anyone. But it's only if they want to, you know, because he's a free will God. He's a free will God. I like I pray for my niece and my nephew and, and my brother. And I don't know about my brother. I don't know what he's doing. My niece and nephew kind of feel like my nephew is where he's going to be. And uh, well, I think he's being convicted. I really feel he's being convicted of what he said to me. That's a conviction. You know what I'm saying? Um, I didn't like it when I was in that lifestyle and someone would say something to me about it that, you know, it's wrong. It's wrong. You're saying, you know, I didn't want to hear it. I didn't want to hear it. I wanted to believe that the God of heaven loved me. For, and he did. He, lo he loved me, <clears throat> but he hated my sin. And the fact that I was in that sin was causing him not to have communion, you know, fellowship with me or communion with him because I couldn't go around him because he couldn't see me. I wasn't allowed the blood of Jesus to wash me clean and walk away. To be a child of God means you've allowed the blood of Jesus to change you, not to be the same. You know? Um, my leg is itching. Anyway, like I was saying, you know, you, you've got to uh, be <sighs> telling the truth to all who will listen. Sorry about that. you got to be telling the truth to all who will listen. And I know not many people want to hear the truth. They don't. They don't want to hear the truth. They'd, ra they'd rather believe that they're, they're right, you're wrong, nothing you can say could change their mind. Because you know what? They're already hardened. Their hardened hearts is not going to change. Now, you know, um, it's like people will sit and they'll make up excuses to stay in their sin. <clears throat> they're looking for someone who will give them peace within them to say, oh, it's okay while they're in your sin. You know, you're okay. Well, you might be okay in the world's eyes, just like with the homosexual, you know, homosexual marriages and stuff. Yeah, they're okay in the, in the eyes of the devil, in the eyes of the world, because the world's not of God. God said, let, you know, he said, I made them male and female. For this reason, they will leave the mother and the father, and they will become one bone, one flesh. One flesh, sorry. And that is true. That is exactly what's supposed to be. It's supposed to be one bone, one flesh, not... One bone, one flesh with man and woman, not man and man, woman and woman. That is not a marriage. That is a disgusting lie from the pits of hell. But today, we can't even tell uh, transsexuals that they're not a woman. No, you got to allow let them, with the world's eyes, you got to allow them to work, live their life as a woman. Well, you know what? When you take off your clothes, if there's a part that looks like a man, it means you're a man. Even though you get women parts put on. Or and get the male part took off, you know what? It doesn't make the change. In God's eyes, he made you a male or he made you a female. And the world, I don't care what doctors do, they cannot change the, what God has done. I'll put it this way to you, okay? And if there's only one out there listening to me right now, I pray that you hear what I'm saying right now. God did not make a mistake when he created you. You made a mistake when you walked down the wrong path around people that made you think that you were in the wrong body. You were a man trapped in a woman's body or a man, a woman trapped in a man's body. No. The only thing that does that is called confusion and it's from the devil. It's Satan himself. <clears throat> 
He's separating you from the true love of your life, which is Jesus Christ. There is no other love but Jesus, okay? No matter how hard you try, there's no other love but Jesus. You can say what you want to. You can do what you want to. But you know what? You're making your own choices. You can't blame nobody. And you have no right to say, how could a loving God send me to hell if he loves me? He loves you, but he doesn't know you. Well, how could he do that? How could he do that? He's not. You're doing it. He sent his son over 2,000 years ago to die on a cross. That many of you homosexuals say, let's see how many Christians we can pee off. Well, let's see how many drag queens and how many homosexuals we can save. Instead, we don't want to pee you off. We want to save you to let you come to the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. And not the lies that the devil has planted in your head, you wig-wearing man with clown makeup on. I don't care if you got to slap a pound of makeup on your face to look like a woman. You're not a woman. Real women don't have to even wear makeup. They're beautiful from inside out. Some wear a little bit. Jan Crouch, well, you know, that's a different story. She, wore more than, she wears more makeup than Tammy Faye Baker did. But anyway, like I was saying, our fat Tammy Faye Messenger, whatever her name, Messenger or something like that. Miss Massing, Missing Gill, Missing Gill, or something. I can't remember. Miss, whatever. Anyway, but it was, you know, Jim Baker's ex wife. Yeah, that's who it is. Uh huh. Brothers and sisters, the devil has got many people blinded into believing the lie that men are women, women are men, you know, and then the world. I mean, you know, that's another fact of them calling good evil and evil good. Letting little kids live their life, that's a boy, live their life as a girl, all because all they don't want to be a little. There was a, uh, a on video, there was a uh, young young boy being taught the uh, g the art, and they call it art, I call it a, a demonic teaching of how to do drag makeup. Mm -mm. No, 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 mm -mm, no. I can tell you, I thank God that I don't have anything to do with any of that anymore. Oh, my. Brothers and sisters, life is short here on this earth. But eternity is not. It's forever. Make your choice today before it's too late. Don't think that you're a man trapped in a woman's body or you're a woman trapped in a man's body. No, that's a lie from hell. Don't be listening to the candy coat and the teachings of the Olsteins. They're nothing but liars. They're liars. Someone said yesterday on, on um, Facebook that John Osteen, which I guess is Joe Osteen's dad, would be rolling over in his grave. I heard that he was no different than his son. That he taught the exact same garbage as his son does. But I don't know. I've never heard any of his teachings, so I don't know. Um, I don't know. You don't know. I mean, you know, because it wasn't much until Joe took over the, the, the I guess, the ministry or something. I think, I don't know. I, I don't know anything about John or Joe or whatever his name is, the one that was his dad. I don't know about him. But I do know that don't be slicked into these slick-talking, money-grabbing garbage munglers, okay? I love you all, but Jesus loves you more, and he is coming back soon. Remember this, brothers and sisters. The casket is too late. Come to the Lord now. Ask Him in and ask Him to forgive you for your sins. We love you here at Last Chance Ministries, but God loves you much more. He sent His Son to die for your sins on Calvary's cross. And the cross didn't win the war. Jesus on the cross won the war. A cross without Christ would not have done it because it took Jesus, the unblemished Lamb of God, whom God sent to the world to be slayed for our sins, to forgive our sins. And if you're living in homosexuality, adultery, or even thoughts of it without rebuking them, you need to start rebuking them. You need to turn around and, and repent and ask God to clear your sight and to take these things away from you. Jealousy, hatred, ask God to take them away from you. Let God know how you feel inside your head. He knows, but he wants you to give it to him by confessing it before him. I know the other day I confessed some stuff. I asked God to take the jealousy I had on my, for my cousin and her family. Because she has a family. It hurt me. I don't have my mom and dad. And she has kids. And I don't have kids. Well, I have my bubby. But I don't have kids like you know that were mine. My brother is my sibling. But still, he's my baby. And I asked God. And I feel so much better about it now. I really do. I feel better about, you know... Brothers and sisters, please, 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 please pray for the lost. Jesus is coming. The darkness is coming, and so is Jesus. 
Brothers and sisters, the light is about to leave. While there is time and there is light, spread the word of God while it may be spread because there's going to be a time which there already is a time in most places they don't want to hear it. But there's a few out there that want to hear it. When it gets to where no one wants to hear it, that's when there's going to be a famine for the word. That's when Jesus is coming. And he's coming soon because the famine, no one wants to hear the truth. They want to live in a lie. I love you all, but Jesus loves you more. Keep looking up. God bless. And uh, remember, pray for your lost. And pray for yourself because you don't know when you're going to draw your last breath. If you don't know Christ, get to know him now. There's no age on death. It could happen at any time. But do you truly die? Only if you let yourself go to hell and sin. Because to live is to live in Christ. Christ is love. And without Christ, you know not love. But with Christ, you do know love. God bless you. Love you. And remember, the casket's too late. God bless. Bye.